Hi everyone, in the previous video I showed you how to cut the motions, export the motion as DXT, and also how to scale the motions. In this video I will show you how to estimate the area's intensity of the modified acceleration time history, and also how to estimate some intensity parameters, uh, which uh, such, are, such as the peak ground acceleration, significant duration of 575, and the other significant duration of 595. And these will be based on the modified motions, not the original one. Okay, so let's see how this work code is working. So if I click on delete, it's going to delete all the modified motions and the area's intensity. If I click on cut, so it's going to cut the motion based on this input here in this table, input table, and it's going to plot it also as well. If I click on scale, it's going to multiply the modified acceleration by this factor. But if I click on area's intensity, it's going to generate the area's intensity in meter per second units and also as a percentage and plot it. If I clicked on parameters, you will see that the parameters have been generated in this table uh, for the modified acceleration time history. So let's see together how to do that in VBA. Uh, just uh, for your information, I'm using this equation to estimate the area's intensity of the modified motions. So let's go to developer, visual basic. First I will start with the parameters. So here I'm just giving dimensions for some uh, variables here. I'm deleting everything in this table, in the output table here. This is just clearing the co contents. And then I'm defining the, low, the last row based on column 5. Then the range 01, which is this, this basically is the maximum, the maximum absolute value of the acceleration in column E. So I'm just using the formula C1 maximum absolute R6, which is 6 rows be below O1, and minus 10, which is 10 columns to the left of this O1, which is going to be the acceleration column E. So I'm just taking the absolute maximum value of the acceleration here. And then I'm copying this O1 and then base it again. So why I'm doing this here? This two, two lines actually just to hide this formula. Let's see if I don't do that. Let's, let's, let's comment these, two, these uh, three lines out, or these two lines out, and see what's going to happen. So if I click on parameters, when I click here, I can see the, mo the, the equation that I used, right? But if I return these two lines and then click on parameters, when I click here, I don't see any equations. So I hide the equations by covering the, the, the data and base it again, but base it as a special value. So there is no function or there is no, yeah, there is no function anymore. That's why I'm doing this here. For the other values, which is the significant duration, I already explained how to do the, how to estimate the significant duration in Excel VBA. So what is significant duration of 575? So basically, let's talk about the 575 first. D575 is just, you go to the area's intensity at 75%, subtract and get the time for that 75%, and then subtract the time from D5%. So you have two values, right? D75 and D5%. You get the time for each of them and just cal uh, subtract. So this is what I'm doing here actually in the VBA. So I'm I'm using XLOOKUP for 75 and then subtract it from 5. So the, 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 uh, the range here is S, which is the area's intensity as a percentage. So this is the input and the output is going to be the time, which is in column D. I'm putting one here because if I didn't find exact number of the return of D, 
the x lookup is going to take the next value the higher value okay so that's what mean one means here then subtract it from five percent that's it and then i'm doing the same thing what i did before here just to hide the function uh, x lookup function in o2 and then i do the same thing here for d95 don't forget to change the percentage here so i'm using 95 minus 5 percent okay my return value is always the column d which is the time and then base special to hide the function for the Eris intensity the same thing so i'm using i'm defining some uh, dimensions here and then using by delete everything what i have in q s I mean from q to s so once i click on the eris intensity app which is connected to this sub it's first it's gonna delete everything in qs from previous data from previous data analysis then it's gonna start typing delta ts in in cell q6 and then it's gonna take the value on q7 and make it equal to d7 so the first value always gonna make it zero then here i'm defining the last row based on column four which is one two three four so it's, this code is dynamic it's gonna go always to the last row if if the last row is less than seven then end this sub of course it's gonna be more than seven because seven is just gonna have one data value here then range q8 which is this one here what i'm doing here is just taking the delta t the difference and time step we here we have a time step equal to 0 0.005 so i'm just taking this minus this then this minus this and make it here so for example this value here is going to be equal to this minus this this value here is going to be equal to this minus this so this is what i'm doing here q8 i'm using formula rc minus 13 which is me which means 13 column to the left from q which is going to be here minus r minus 1 c minus 13 which is the row before that in column 13 to the left and then range q8 select and then auto fill selection what, what this means this line here actually it's just like when you come here and you see that small square at the bottom right side of the cell this is what it means when you do some uh, apply some function to this cell and you want to do it. auto cell you double click on this so this is exactly what this means this is just auto fill selection okay then in the range r6 value i'm typing ai meter per second which is basically this one here and then I'm just calculating the area intensity using this equation, which is um, based on this equation here. By divided by 2g, 0 to t, a squared del times delta t. So this is what I'm doing here. And also it's dynamic, it's going to be to the last row. And then the last step, I'm doing the calculation of the percentage of area intensity so i'm typing first the title of the uh, the header here and then um calculating the maximum value based on the row or, or the column before s which is r in this case to the last row and then dividing each value by the maximum value then multiply with 100 to get the percentage that's it and then i'm doing autofill to fill all the way to the last row so that's it actually we got the area intensity we got some intensity parameters of the motions of the modified motions and everything is dynamic uh, in this case okay so you can um, pause the video at any time to write the code and then you can be you can uh, calculate the area intensity and plot everything dynamically 
for plotting actually I'm just defining if I clicked here I'm defining this data and I'm giving very high number of rows to read everything in these columns so as you can see I'm dividing I'm defining the row as from D7 to the all the way to the 1 million so how this is how I plot it dynamically okay so I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye